Hi, I'm Amy and I'm the trainee here at York Gates. So we've ha had the garden open to the public in the last couple of weeks for all of our snowdrops and it's looked fantastic. But now, as you can see, they've gone over and they're browning, but we're going to take this time of year while they've still got their leaves. We know where they are, we know where the big clumps are, so we're going to divide some up, spread them around. And this area it is really like impactful with the amount of snowdrops, but we're going to increase it and increase to all the other areas that don't have as many, so now's a great time to do that. So just um, go into some of the clumps that are sort of getting a bit congested and could definitely be spread around. At this time of year, sometimes you can see the bulbs actually like pushing to the surface. So then that's showing that it's getting a bit congested and they could definitely be divided. always come out really clean and clear so they're so easy to divide. So this area over here we don't have so many in so if even if I put these in as sort of individual snowdrops then hopefully the years to come they're gonna bulk up and look similar to what we have over here so <laughs> just spreading them around. Yeah, it's so good this time of year because they've already got their leaves on you can see what they're gonna look like when they come back. Uh, this snowdrop is um, it's called SR knot and it's quite a large one and a really nice large flowering one. And it also, not all snowdrops do, but this one has a honey scent to it. So it's really gorgeous. Yeah, they're not going to look amazing just as sort of single snowdrops, but they will bulk up, so that'll be great. <laughs> In the garden, we have a lot of different varieties. I, when I first started in horticulture, I thought a snowdrop was just a snowdrop, but there are so many different types with the different markings on them and everything, so there's a whole world out there of snowdrops. <laughs>